So, bro, how do you feel, bro, like, about um, Go Yayo, bro, about him recently going to jail, bro? Man, like, I know that was a... Yeah, yeah, I know that was an artist, bro, that you you actually fuck with, bro. Um, he, stay, he stayed on your channel for the longest, bro. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, he got some he got some fire hits on your shit. Yeah. Like, like, how do you feel about that shit, bro? I mean, shit, that, that shit fucked up, but that, that shit, that, that sometimes ain't nothing you can do about it. You just gotta wait that shit out. Right. He'll be home soon. Right. Soon enough. I don't know. I don't know how long he got, but can't be too long. Right. When you when you working with these artists, bro, like, do it make you feel like a certain way, bro? Like, like back then, like even when they were doing all the beefing and rapping and shit, you know what I'm saying? They dissing each other, bro. Like, how do you separate that shit, bro? Like, um, it was it wasn't even a task to separate that shit for me on some shit. It was just them niggas understood because. At one point, Spud and Yayo was together on some shit. Like, right. Spud was hood fame at one point. Right. So, shit, when they separated, I was already cool with both of them. So, them niggas understood what was going on. I'm not going to stop shooting for you. I'm not going to stop shooting for you. It is what it is. They, I, I, didn't, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I didn't even know that shit. Well, you ain't I, know that Spud I, was I, hood fame? Hell no, I didn't. That's great, yeah. look back on some, some of this video. You're going to be saying hood fame MVP or hood fame geeked up gang on some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I swear I don't. That's crazy. Oh, well, fame starting out. Starting out. Yep. Yeah. What? What? Like? What do you think? Like, kind of like broke them apart. Damn, if I remember correctly, I think that shit was over a bitch or some shit, some gay shit, some shit that some was, crazy shit that didn't even matter. That turned into some more shit. You know, niggas get to talking and egos getting in the way and right. it just turn it just spiral out of control. Right. Shit. Right, okay, um, and then like kind of fast forward like a little bit, like I remember um, around the time when everybody was hood fame, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, then we- talking about like CJ and them? CJ and them, right. Uh -huh. And then we seen something happen that I didn't think that was gonna happen. Like I seen uh, the six pick, you know what I'm saying? I seen Trap and he, mm -hmm. he get all of the full work artists and Dallas artists that come together, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I heard a lot of people say like, if. If folk were, like, I just seen an uh, uh, interview with Rainwater, you know what I'm saying? He said, like, they blew it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. Hood fame, they blew they blew their opportunity, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I feel like if all of those artists that was in that Six Pig video, I feel like if they would have just came together like all the other states, I feel like it would have blew. Yeah, it would have blew bigger. Could've. It, it would have blew big. It would have had the, I feel like it, would, it probably would have had the uh, record labels really just, they, they was already tapped in, but I just feel like it would have just been bigger. Yeah, them that, that certain group of niggas, if they could have, if they could have stayed together on some shit, I mean, they all were still together. Like, it's just CJ and, and, and Ye all stopped fucking with each other on some shit. But if they could have, if they could have took that same six niggas and kept doing some shit, that shit would have been like a powerhouse. On some on some DFW shit like, right? Yeah, yeah. You think they would have been like that? We could have did the selling out shows and stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And niggas don't know like nigga, I'm the reason that Get Money Lorenny and Yella even know each other on some shit. Oh, for real? Like back in like I said, I, I grew up with Chucky. I met Yella back in 2013 on some shit. Got gotcha. you. I'm the nigga that introduced them to each other. I remember showing Yellow Chucky for the first time. He was like in the barber shop freestyling on some shit. And he was like, this nigga told this nigga hard in the motherfucker, who's cuz? And then, you know, they both street niggas. So when I when I connect them, they just link together on some Lame. street shit and they they've been cool ever since then. Right. And it was it was Chucky and Yellow at first. It ain't had nothing to do with Yayo right. in the beginning. It was Chucky and Yellow. Right. Now I feel you like what like what um what you think like stopped that bro like what you think stopped them just from all just staying together bro? Uh, I mean technically they all are still together like Chucky Yayo still fuck with Trap and Yellow CJ still fuck with Trap and Yellow it just CJ and Yayo don't fuck with each other no more so that same six could you think you think that shit could ever get fixed bro? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's just I don't know. It's just I guess it depends on what type of time Yayo on when he when he get home on some shit. Right. It could, I feel like it could because it's never nothing serious really happened behind that shit. Right. Not for you. Not for just you. as far as you know. what I'm saying uh, you filming and stuff like that, bro. You you still have a lot of body of work out here too, bro. Um, I feel like I know people may not. 
understand your um, where you're trying to go with it. But I heard you say in a couple of interviews, like you like, I heard you say mention like QC. Mm -hmm. You saying you want to be like QC. You want to yeah, have yeah. like the 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 artist behind you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like um, at the time, I remember you start bagging up off the the films, and I and I probably I was one of those niggas out there. Like, man, what the fuck this nigga doing, man? He got the biggest movement. Like, like what the fuck? Why he putting down the camera? Like, why he ain't pushing that shit? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I was one of those niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie to yeah. you, bro. But after a while, bro, like I started seeing the picture. I'm like, damn, bro, hat paint is really this nigga, and I understand now why you do the music reviews and shit like that, bro. Cause like, you really got the the eye for the music, you know what I mean? Like you got some big artists like Erica Banks, 15, 1501 reached out and got her. You see what I'm saying? Uh, even, I feel like Tuesday, that nigga's yeah. cold. You know what I'm saying? Like how, like what, what makes you see these artists, bro, before they just get to, you know what I'm saying, to they, I just feel like I know talent, bro. Yes, you, you see it. I know real talent on some shit that ain't had nothing to do with how much buzz they had and no shit like that. But right. Like Erica, she was nobody when she came to us. She started building the buzz with us, then went to Pinto and one and, and blew up. Yeah. Tuzi, he had a buzz already, but he wasn't who he who he is today on some shit. Yeah. Yet, but I knew his potential on some shit. Right. And as far as the artist right now, bro, like um, that's in top off right now. I know you, you pushing for everybody, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, and I don't feel like this would be nothing bad. But like, who who do you feel like right now, bro? On top off is is next up though. Man, like, it's that's that's a hard call because everybody never, just all, yeah, you just we never all know. Dropping hard shit, you never know who who shit gonna be. Yeah. Just just blow up on some shit. Right. Is you is you looking to uh, to add somebody else to uh, top off? Well, you just added. Did you just add somebody else to top off? Mm -mm. Now, do you got an artist out there in um? What they top off? Uh, it was like out there in Corpus Christi or something like that. That's Lil Bree. He ain't never. Nah, he been top off. Since he been man. top off. He was top off before me. Damn. Yeah, he Damn. just niggas just, 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 just yeah, he just be bullshitting on some shit like that. He yeah, rap he, he rap every two years on some shit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He if you look if you go back you'll see him and his brother, they got songs with Tuzi and Quinn and shit like that, they got a million Maybe. views already. And shit. Yeah. So yeah, he he in there right now. He been top off. He was top off before me. Yeah, okay. I, I seen you made the comment on it, bro. Like, how do you feel about the baby situation right now, bro? What's getting What's getting um, done to him? He's He's being blackballed right now. Man, I feel like first of all, I feel like anybody that's blackballing them probably wasn't a real fan or listening to him in the first place anyway. Right. That's just be motherfuckers that don't even listen to your music anyway, saying they canceling you. Nobody that's listening to his music is stopping listening to his music over that shit. His fans are still his fans. Right. But it is it is fucked up the way it's going because I, I feel like he didn't even say nothing wrong. Right. Or he didn't even say nothing he pertaining do you, to do you think, regular nigga shit. Oh, God. Right. Do you, think it's, it, do you think it's that, bro? Or do you think it was the whole Tory Lanez thing, bro? Because you know this shit didn't go down until, like... Yeah, but... I'm, at the show. Say, you remember at the that, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that probably added to the heat <laughs> on some shit. Like... <laughs> He brought that nigga out. Most of Megan fans are probably like gay people on some shit. That's that's what any okay. female artist. Most of their fans are gonna be like gay. So I could I could feel that 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 added fuel to the fire that he was already finna get. Right. Right, that's crazy. Do you feel like uh you feel like Cause a lot of people like saying, but I know he makes a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's a lot of money he missed out on too. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. think that like it hurts him in, in the way with them festivals? Nah. No. Yeah. If it's no. pro, yeah, I already got half of it. It's How about to say it, it? Man, he could never do another festival in his life, and he good regardless, bro. <laughs> but he don't even have to rap no more. The shit that he done did already, he's good forever. Right. So. It ain't. I ain't gonna say it's, it ain't hurting them, but it would help if it was still there. But it ain't hurting them. Right. No, I feel you. I feel you. And that should have come back around. Yeah. I um. I, I even been hearing people say like he should just start doing his own festivals. Like I think that should be. It should be good. And then I feel like come tap in with like you know local artists and shit like that who's buzzing in the city. Mm -hmm. Throw them on shows and shit like that. And you know. Definitely.
And yeah. he the type of nigga that'll do yeah. that shit too. Yeah, he got the power surprised. too. Bro, that nigga don't take no L's. Don't be surprised when he bounce back from this Live shit. One. That nigga gonna find a way to yeah. overcome. To overcome. Every time. Goddamn, see anything. Yeah. Nigga ain't took no L's. Nigga trying to punk him in that line and shit. Niggas ain't, he ain't going for it. I fuck with Johnny's and no cap. <laughs> I feel you.